Hey everybody, Nate Lee here, and I'm going to show you a mandolin strap hack. I use uh, my, I set up my mandolin strap differently than most people do, and the reason I do that is because I don't want to have to worry about dropping my mandolin all the time. And I learned this method from Steve Smith, who was one of my teachers when I was young. I still learn stuff from him all the time. And he had a different way of attaching his strap that I had not seen before. And it's still not a very common way to do it, but it's a really effective way to do it. And if you're ever worried about the end of your strap coming off of your mandolin, or if that's even maybe happened to you before, it's happened to everybody at some point, I think, um, then this may be something that you want to look at because it creates a connection that you don't have to worry about having it fall off. As long as you check it once in a while, you really don't have to worry about it coming off. So then your hands are free uh, to adjust microphones and things like that. So this is how it works. You take your mandolin end pin and you just pull it out. This is the finished product we're working toward here is a strap that's actually attached internally. So you pull out that end pin. On most mandolins, it's gonna come out really easily. If you pull on it really hard and it doesn't come out, then consult a luthier just to, especially if you know the person that built it, just to find out did they do something weird like glue it in? You know, they're not usually glued in, but maybe somebody has done that. Um, so if it's really hard to pull out, check with a luthier first, but usually they're gonna pull right out with a firm tug. And then you put it away in your case, you're not gonna need it anymore. And then what you do is you take a strap that has string on the end of it, or in my case, I took a strap I already had and attached string to it. Now this strap, I don't even know the brand name of it, but this strap was a very adjustable strap, except um, that the adjustment would change. It would slowly get longer and longer, so it didn't work for me. Um, but this method allows me to make the strap any length I want it to be. Uh, so you get a strap that has some string on it, or attach some string to the strap you have, and you put that string through the hole. And I'm using parachute cord here. Make sure you use something that's really sturdy. Some people use leather, uh, but I like parachute cord better because it will put up with more abuse. So the string goes in the hole, and then you push that string in until you start to see that string through the sound hole, through the bottom F hole. And then you very, very carefully take your needle nose pliers, you reach in there and you grab the string and you pull it through. Now I've already installed this, so I already have a knot, um, but when you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to grab the string and pull it through. If you have two strings, try to get it even on the end, make sure everything is even and taut. Then you just tie a knot. That's it, single knot, double knot, whatever is big enough to not fall back through this end pin hole. And then you test out the length. If you don't like it, you lengthen it a little bit. If you do like it, you leave it where it is. And uh, this is how I do it. You set it to exactly the length you need. Most straps have a hole about every one inch or so. So if your ideal setting is in between those two holes, well, too bad. There's no room to put another hole in between them and you just have to have your mandolin at the wrong height. With this, I can have my mandolin be exactly where I want it, tie that knot. I check it every now and then to see if there's wear that I need to worry about. And this cord has been on here for three or four years. There still is no visible wear here at all from hitting the edge of the tailpiece of the end pin. So it works really well. Tie your knot to where you want it to be, put it back, and there you go. Knot coming off. It's attached on both ends in a place where it's not gonna come off. I don't have to worry about that at all. It's always right where I need it to be. And I just can't imagine having my strap attached the conventional way ever again. So if that looks like something for you, give it a try. See what you think. It's not for everybody, but it's something that I'm frankly surprised everybody doesn't do because it works so well. All right, if you have any questions, uh, just ask in the comments. And uh, also, if you want to ask more questions about anything and everything, follow the Play Nately page and also join my Facebook group, Play Well, Play Nately. And you can ask questions there every week in our weekly Technique Tuesdays thread. All right. Bye, everybody.